What is hydroponics? Hydroponics is a method of growing plants without soil. Instead, using a nutrient-rich solution to deliver essential elements for plant growth. Hydroponics has a long history dating back to ancient civilizations like the Babylonians and Aztecs. In the 20th century, advances in technology led to more sophisticated hydroponic systems, and today it is a growing industry for both commercial agriculture and home gardening. Hydroponics versus Soil Understanding the Differences in Plant Nutrition in soil, plants extract nutrients from organic matter through a process that involves microbes and other soil organisms. The organic matter is decomposed, releasing essential plant nutrients into the soil in a form that can be taken up by plant roots. In hydroponics, these microorganisms are not present. Instead, the plant's nutrient supply comes from a soluble mineral solution that is delivered directly to the roots. Advantages of Hydroponics Higher yields with more crops per unit area. Faster growth due to precise nutrient delivery. Reduced use of pesticides and harmful chemical. Less fertilizer required due to efficient nutrient uptake. Water savings, up to 99%, through reduced runoff and efficient irrigation. More nutritious produce due to optimized nutrient delivery and reduced stress. What is the secret behind the success of hydroponics? It's water. Within it lies the potential to provide the perfect well-balanced environment for plant roots to thrive. By carefully controlling four key parameters, water can be transformed into a nutrient-rich solution that promotes healthy growth in line with the plant's genetic potential. The Nutrient Solution The four keys to a perfect hydroponic solution for your plants. Sufficient Fertilizer Plants grown in hydroponic systems rely solely on the nutrient-rich water solution for their growth and development, and thus, it is crucial that this solution contains sufficient amounts of all essential plant nutrients. These nutrients include nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, as well as secondary nutrients like calcium, magnesium, and more. How to Fertilize In hydroponics, fertilizer is measured by either electrical conductivity EC, or parts per million PPM. EC, electrical conductivity, is a measure of the total amount of dissolved salts in a solution, and reflects the ability of the solution to conduct electricity. PPM, on the other hand, refers to the concentration of a substance in a solution. Both EC and PPM help to monitor the nutrient concentration of the water in the system. The level of nutrients can be measured using an EC meter or a PPM meter. It is important to assess the water's current mineral level prior to fertilization, and to add the reading to the desired value. On average, greens like lettuce, spinach, and herbs require an EC of around 1.0 to 1.8 and a PPM of 700 to 1200. For fruiting vegetables like tomatoes, peppers, and cucumbers, the EC should be around 1.8 to 2.2 and the PPM 800 to 1500. 2. Balanced pH. What is pH? pH is a measure of the acidity or basicity, alkalinity, of a solution, ranging from 0 to 14, with 7 being neutral, below 7 acidic and above 7 basic. The pH of the water in hydroponic systems must be kept within a specific range in order for plants to absorb the nutrients they need. A pH range of 5.5 to 6.5 is typically considered ideal for most plants. Regular monitoring of the pH level and adjusting it as needed is important to ensure healthy growth. How to monitor pH? Several methods exist to measure and regulate the acidity level in a solution, including litmus paper, chemical tests, and manual or automatic meters. We at NatureTech Hydroponics provide the complete nutrition necessary for plants through one mineral fertilizer that includes an average formula that is compatible with all plants. It is possible to make adjustments and complete mineral nutrition using supplements as needed. In home gardening, a digital pH hand meter is frequently employed for efficient and precise measurement of the solution's acidity level. To raise the alkalinity in a solution with high acidity, meaning pH less than 5.5, a small amount of concentrated potassium hydroxide solution is used. This effectively increases the pH level. It is important to note that due to the concentrated nature of the solution, only a small amount is necessary. 
If the alkalinity of the solution is high, meaning higher than 6.5, we will use a phosphoric acid solution to increase acidity. Here too, only a small amount of a few ml of the concentrated solution is required. Fertilizing and balancing pH takes 5 minutes, once a week. 3. Temperature. Optimal growth occurs within a range of 18 to 25 degrees Celsius, 64 degrees Fahrenheit to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Elevated water temperatures can reduce the level of dissolved oxygen in the water and increase the likelihood of root diseases and fluctuations in acidity. On the other hand, low water temperatures can impair the plant's ability to absorb fertilizers. Those who live in cold areas often grow indoors or in a greenhouse. Those who live in warm countries provide shade and insulation for the reservoir. During periods of extreme temperatures cooling or heating systems such as chillers or water heaters may be necessary. 4. Oxygen. Oxygen is needed for root respiration and to prevent water logging and root-related issues in hydroponic systems. Hydroponic systems supply oxygen to the roots through various methods such as creating bubbles, continuous recirculation, misting, flooding and draining the nutrient solution, and more. To sum up, the key factors for a healthy nutrient solution for plants include Hydroponic fertilizer – check the fertilizer concentration in the water once a week and make adjustments as needed to address any deficiencies. pH balance – measure and balance the acidity once a week. Oxygen, most growing methods have built-in oxygenation, so typically no action is required. Temperature, monitor and balance extreme changes in water temperature. What other factor is essential for the success of my hydroponic setup? Sunlight. Although the hydroponic system replaces the soil, it doesn't replace the need for sunlight. Hydroponic plants require sunlight to carry out photosynthesis, which is essential for their growth and development. Therefore, it's crucial to choose a suitable location that provides adequate sunlight for your plant's needs. To successfully grow herbs such as parsley, dill, coriander, chives, green onions, basil, thyme, and others, it's essential to select a location with at least two hours of direct sunlight. To cultivate fruit vegetables like tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, eggplants, zucchini, watermelons, melons, and similar plants, it's crucial to choose a location that provides a minimum of 5 hours of direct sunlight. If your available location lacks adequate direct sunlight, dedicated grow lamps can be used to provide the necessary photons for plant growth. It's crucial to choose appropriate lighting that meets the specific needs of your plants. We will delve into this topic further in a separate instructional video about growing lighting. Hydroponic Methods all hydroponic growing methods are designed to maintain adequate oxygen levels for healthy plant growth. There are various hydroponic growing methods, each with its unique features and advantages, that determine the type of plants that can be grown in it. These methods can be applied in different ways and sizes, but they all share common features and require consistent maintenance procedures. Hydroponic Method Number 1 NFT – Nutrient Film Technique this is the most popular method in hydroponic cultivation and is widely used in commercial crops. NFT involves flowing a nutrient solution from a reservoir to an upper channel via an electric or solar pump. The solution then flows through the growing channels, providing plant roots with nutrition, oxygen, and moisture for efficient growth without a growing medium. This technique can be applied vertically or horizontally and is ideal for small-scale private growers seeking to maximize space. The volume in the growing channel defines the types of plants suitable for growth. Channels like 75 on 50 mm are used for short-term crops, like herbs and leafy greens for a one-time harvest. If you want to grow herbs and leafy greens for continued home harvest, you should consider growing in bigger channels, like 100 on 50 mm. If you wish to have a wide variety of growing options that includes also fruity vegetables, you should use channels with a volume of at least 100 on 100 mm. Larger channels can accommodate larger roots. Channels with removable covers allow for effective root pruning, enabling the long-term growth of various plants, including fruit vegetables, like cucumbers, eggplants, and tomatoes. NatureTech as Wally Hydroponic System features channels that allow for effective root pruning, convenient and fast cleaning between growing cycles, and a constant water level even when the pump is off, providing tolerance against power outages. Upgrading to a solar pump is accessible and easy, and the system can be turned off for the night.
Hydroponic Method Number 2. Dutch Bucket. The Dutch Bucket Method involves growing plants in individual buckets filled with an inert growing medium or without any medium. Nutrient-rich water is periodically pumped into the bucket and drains out. This method is ideal for large plants and can be used in a greenhouse or outdoor garden. Hydroponic method number 3. Flood and Drain. The flood and drain method is the technique of flooding and emptying the nutrient solution from the root zone in a closed cycle. Flood and drain systems can have an inert growth medium or no medium at all. The method allows a high availability of water, fertilizer, and oxygen directly to the roots which results in healthy and fast growth. Our aeroponic system utilizes the flood and drain method, in which each pod is filled and emptied in a closed circular flow. Notably, this method does not involve any growing medium. Hydroponic method number 4. DWC. Deep water culture. Involves suspending the plant roots in a nutrient-rich water solution, while an air stone provides oxygen to the roots. The plant is grown in a net pot with a growing medium and is easy to set up and maintain. Here are some more hydroponic methods. Aquaponics, growing in symbiosis with fish. Aeroponics, root hanged in air gets sprayed with drops. Phagoponics, misting the roots. Kratky, like DWC, but without the bubbles. Drip, consistent dripping. And more. At Nature Tech Hydroponics, we believe in providing accessible tools for growing food that can be utilized by everyone. It all starts with you. We invite you to join our community of hydroponic growers at Nature Tech Hydroponics Limited. Join us for valuable and free professional information on hydroponic growing at www.nthydroponics.com